Hey guys, how's it going? Apple finally released their April event invite just a few days ago. This is honestly crazy to me. I cannot believe it. Here's what it looks like, if you haven't seen it already. I'm sure it's off around uh, Twitter right now and everyone's going crazy. So basically, yes, it looks like a car. I'm wordless. Let's get started. So um, if you head to Apple's website right now, um, you can actually see this invite. And now it's not publicly available yet. So it's currently only available for some reason in Canada, if you're in the United States or something, it doesn't show up. And I'm in Canada myself, which is very lucky. Or if you can't, you can use a Canada VPN and go on apple.ca and that will show up. So basically this is a Apple press invite for their April 6th event, which is happening at 10 a.m. PDT, where it's really minimal. It's just an Apple logo saying we've arrived um, and join us at Apple Park. Sorry, join us from Apple Park, sorry. I'm really excited if you can't already tell. The reason why this is so intriguing to me is because, first of all, we've arrived. That makes it sound like it's something about a vehicle. And also, if you look at the background, you see two sides of lights, two sets. One on the left side of the Apple logo, and one on the right. This might be implying an Apple car, and this is what I've been thinking. There's a lot of people uh, on the internet, like um, who, like on Twitter especially, where they're uh, hypothesizing that this is actually just a tease from Apple, and it's not an Apple car. Rather, it's um, like a new camera array on the uh, new iPhones or new iPads. But I honestly don't see it. All I see is a car with headlights. And if this actually is an Apple car, we are so in for a treat. April 6th is so close to us right now. Um, it's just a few days away. So it's really crazy. And just to think that Apple is actually releasing a car is crazy to me. It's likely that they're partnering with a established or somewhat established EV um, company like uh, Tesla or maybe Lucid, who have been trying to make an electric vehicle for a long time now. They just need funding and Apple has funding. so. You know, there's been a lot of speculation that Apple might be partnering up with Lucid to make this. And, you know, if this is the case, then I'm sure Lucid stocks will skyrocket. So maybe you should check them out. Anyway, um, this is crazy to me that Apple might be making a car and it might be coming so soon. And also, before I get too excited, I mean, I already am too excited, but still, it's called We've Arrived. and. We've arrived can mean a lot of things. Apple tend to tease something in the background or with the text, um, like such as gather around. That's really just a pun because they're meeting up in Apple Park, yeah, which is a circle. So it's gather around instead of gather around. This time we've arrived. Potentially it means they're going to arrive inside an Apple car and that's how they're going to show off the event. Or potentially it's just because since they missed the March event time frame. They've never hosted an event in April. Uh, so perhaps April is reserved for vehicles now. And, you know, it's quite odd that Apple would be releasing this and they'll be teasing a car. But still, if this really is a electric vehicle that many speculate, um, then this will honestly change everything. Apple's entire system, their iPhones, they only get what? like $300 per iPhone sold, and that's um, not including what they have to spend in advertisement, in manufacturing, in design, all of that. So I think they barely get any from each iPhone sale or each Mac sale. But with a car, they can get, say, $10,000 per car. And let's just pretend that this really is a car that Apple is releasing. Then what does this mean? Well, it means that Apple have already tried to make a car before and it's actually out and it's compliant with legal documents from say the United States or Canada even. And it's actually quite odd that this is only available in Canada so perhaps this car will be coming to Canada first and then later to um, other uh, countries. But right now um, you can only see this invite in Canada or you know with a VPN. So if this really is a car it will definitely be electric because that's really what tech companies are going for. Um, and for Apple to release a gasoline car is just really odd. And I know I've 
made a video, and this is quite embarrassing, called Apple Car Explained Not Happening. And I guess it is actually happening because, you know, everything points to Apple releasing a car. And if they do, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna get one or I'm gonna at least reserve one and, you know, I'll make a video about it. So, so be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out if Apple does release this Apple car. If they do, um, it's probably gonna have similar range to the Tesla Model 3, but it's probably at the price of the Tesla Model S because that's what Apple is known for. And also, I wouldn't be surprised if they have something like the M2 chip inside it because, oh, it's so fast. It's full self-driving. I'm pretty sure you cannot get that yet. However, autopilot or something among autopilot will definitely be included because, again, tech companies. And Apple's Project Titan have been experimenting and making um, car software for a long time too. So I'm sure this will fit neatly into Apple's ecosystem. All right, that's it for this video. If you like, please like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Also, happy April Fools. Take care.